So we need to understand the AI risk. So you talking about academia. Uh, on previous episode, a couple of weeks ago, I'm, I was talking to Professor Kat Ellis from University of New South Wales. She is one of the ethics advisory on academia because on using of AI. So I like the chat GPT. What do you think will be, do we need a standard regulation on academia? Because a lot of students now, they're using chat GPT or other AI software to help them uh, to their study, which sometimes it's making them lazy. <laughs> yes. Yes, actually, uh, I'm not against using ChatGPT. One of the concerns for ChatGPT for, for me personally is the data privacy, because it will use what the students or everybody else uh, enters uh, to it as the new data that is trained on. So that is the implication that I see in using it. But uh, you know, one of the concerns about using things like ChatGPT is that we should be aware that one of the risks of AI systems is us as humans losing our ana analytical thinking ability. It's very important that we as humans have that analytical critical thinking ability. If you lose that, you're nothing. You're not like these kinds of proper humans as we are these days anymore. So if these types of uh, AI systems like ChatGPT make us lazy that in a way that we cannot really uh, get from uh, point A to point B without using them, I think it's not uh, really good to use them. Because you, if you remember many years ago, we didn't use GPS in order to go from places from other from one place to another place but nowadays many people without gps they would be lost and uh, if the same happens you know uh for say essay writing or these kinds of um, skills if our students or people lose those types of abilities and skills it's a big threat because it's not just not being able to write an essay it's losing the analytical and critical thinking skills that is the thing that we should be aware that we, are, we shouldn't lose actually the level of analytical and critical thinking that we have we as humans have the ai systems do not have it at least at this stage they don't have it so look at einstein what einstein did an AI system cannot do. So, you know, we should be able to maintain our analytical and critical thinking skills. As long as we do that, it's okay to use any AI system. As long as we, we use them smartly, it doesn't, they don't make us stupid. That's the main important message here. 